गुड मॉर्निंग रिकॉर्डिंग ओके रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्टेड सो चैप्टर नाइन द नाइट द बेड फेल दिस चैप्टर यू आर ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटेड ओनली वन पेज वाज लेफ्ट इट वाज एन इवेंट फुल नाइट एंड लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन वाज क्रिएटेड दैट नाइट व्हेन द ऑथर author uh, has uh, has narrated the whole story on that day his father wanted to sleep in the attic the room on the topest floor and mother did not agree to let the father sleep in that room because the bed was wobbly and it could fall down any time she was very afraid but father did not obey and he went there and grandfather was away from the house and on that day one cousin bricks bell had uh, had uh was uh, bricks bell who was author's cousin had stayed with them and uh, he was also there in the house along with mother father author his brother and uh, dog so they were all sleeping together in one house and uh, the out the layout of the room i had explained that uh, when you when the disposition in the front room upstairs mother and brother harman they were sleeping and harman had the habit of uh, singing these songs in the sleep and in the next room in the next room adjoining room bricks bell and the author they were sleeping next to mother and harman's room and the brother roy author's brother roy was sleeping in the room across the hall means on the other side and in the center in the hall rex was sleeping that is the that is the name of the dog author was sleeping in uh, on an army coat bed a very simple one and uh, it was very dangerous that if if uh, the person would roll down one uh, the person would uh, sleep on one side of the bed because of the person's weight the bed could just uh, turn upside down and the person might fall down and the same thing happened with the author at 2 o'clock midnight but still the author did not wake up with this uh, with uh, while falling down but with this uh, noise with the sound of the bed falling down who woke up the first who was the first one to wake up with this uh, noise mother right mother woke up and mother had that fear on her mind that the father is in danger so she thought that father has fallen down from the bed but she did not uh, without checking she got hyper she did not know that in the next room my son has fallen down actually author had fallen down so his mother thought author's mother thought father has fallen down just hearing the noise of the bed falling uh, bed falling down and she became hysterical she became hyper she was panic stricken and in the same room with the mother uh, who was sleeping in the same room with the mother harman he woke up he thought that mother has be- mother has become hyper without any reason she might have seen uh, she might have seen a nightmare and that's why she has become hyper so he was trying to calm her mother down and uh, when these both were shouting mother was shouting that uh, yeah, uh, let's go to your poor father and harman was shouting are you all right so when these both were shouting who was the third one to wake up bricks bell who was sleeping with the author in his room so bricks bell that author's cousin he woke up and he already had that uh, phobia that he would die of suffocation if he was not wake, uh, if he was not woken up so bricks bell thought that he is dying and that's why these people are shouting means mother and harman are shouting to save him and to bring him out of suffocation so bricks bell had his own misconception 
and mother and arman had their own so bricks bell uh, what did he do he woke up and uh, he, as he had a fear that he would die he tried to sniff he wanted to smell that spirit of camphor that bottle which he had kept at the head of the bed he tried to sniff he, he wanted to smell that camphor little bit with his nose but by mistake in hurry he just poured that whole camphor on he, on his face that is what happened with him because he was doing that so quickly that he did not know that by mistake he poured that whole camphor bottle on his face and the whole room reeked of camphor there was a the smell of camphor everywhere and bricks bell started coughing because obviously you cannot pour that whole camphor on your face and now he was behaving like uh, he has become unconscious he wanted to come out of this suffocation now he was really suffocating because of that camphor that deluge the word is given overflow because that camphor had overflown on his face you should only smell it a little bit you cannot pour that whole camphor on your face so now he was really uh, coughing he wanted to go near the window to get some fresh air so he was not able to open his eyes of course because that camphor on his face was spread all over so with the with his hands like a blind man how the blind man touches everything and he can identify what is it so he was like a blind man with the support of the wall he was moving at the edge of the room and he was trying to reach the window so that he can open the window and get some fresh air but unfortunately when he reached the window the window was closed and he started banging on the window because he was not able to think and he was suffocating he was coughing so he he reached the window but the window was closed so he started banging the window very loudly and with this noise who woke up narrator when he started banging yes the narrator woke up and narrator was still half asleep and he was half awake so he opened his eyes and now he became conscious that what was going on around him ab usko thoda pata chala ki ab kya ho raha hai but till now he was sleeping under the bed and bed was resting above him to abhi usko realize ab ja ke hua ab usko thoda dard hua pehle jaisa till now he was sleeping under the bed if he, he fell down but he was still in the sleep but now when this uh, bricks bell started banging on the window then he woke up and now he was feeling that something is above him and he is under it ab usko realize hua ki wo gir gaya hai then then he had his own misconception again the narrator thought that he is trapped that he was entombed in a mine entombed means he was trapped usko qaid kar liya tha kisi ne he thought like that because you know when you just wake up immediately and someone who is shouting or banging you will not become conscious you will not come to your senses you will take some time to realize what is exactly going on so unless he was fully awake he thought that uh, he he was uh, this all the people they were shouting mother arman bricks bell these all were shouting and banging the window because they were trying to bring him out of the mine of the excavation because he was trapped so narrator ko apna khud ka misconception alag hua aur un tino ko apna misconception pehle se tha bricks bell started coughing again floundering in his camphor floundering means stumbling he was not able to walk straight his legs were not moving straight because he was not able to see because of that camphor that was uh, the effect of that camphor that he had uh, because instead of sniffing he poured it over his face so he was floundering he was stumbling means walking clumsily not able to walk straight i think we have to continue right we had not uh, read this paragraph had we read No. Who will read then? So may I read? Read the video. Yes, you can read. I said, Nurani Sakina. Yes, sir. By this time, mother. Um, by this time, my mother still shouting. 
posed by Hemant, still shouting, was trying to open the door uh, to the attic in, uh, in order to go up and get, get my father's body out of the uh, out of the wreckage. The door was stuck, however, and uh, wo uh, wouldn't yell. Uh, her uh, her friend. Her frantic pulls, uh, her frantic, uh, frantic pulls on it only added to the general bang, banging and confusion. Roy and the dog were, uh, were not now up. The one shouting questions, the other barking. Father, uh, father, mm -hmm. fastest. One minute. So now, uh, by this time, mother was still shouting. Pursued by Herman and still shouting. Mother was still shouting. They were both in the same room. Mother and Herman. Both of them were shouting. Herman was trying to calm her down. But mother was not ready to listen. She was just afraid. She had that fear that father would die. That father has fallen down. So she was. She went upstairs. Where did she go upstairs? She went to the door of the attic where father was sleeping. And she started banging the door like a mad lady. See? Like a mad lady, she is banging at the door because uh, she is afraid and she is sh shouting. He is dying, he is dying. Usko laga ki andar, uh, oh gaya. But actually, father had not fallen down. We also know that. That sound had come from the next room because author had fallen down. You understand? Understood? Yeah, yes. So, in order to go up and get my father's body out of the wreckage, up see the body bol diya, father's body means father is dead. Aisa soch liya, mother ne. How negative thinker she is. Even if the father has fallen down, suppose it is, is it compulsory that he will die? Directly it is written over here that uh, get my father's body out of the wreckage. Wreckage means the remaining. Jab koi building ya kuch gir jata hai, to jo baki ka jo bachta hai all that uh, bricks and all that stones that is called wreckage so remainings that are called wreckage so mother thought that they should take the father's dead body out of the wreckage see what kind of people they are they are thinking negative about their own family member without even just checking that is he has he really fallen down and is he really dead directly here it is written that father's body out of the wreckage the door was stuck, however, and wouldn't yield. Door ye jo hai wo, wo jam ho gaya tha. It was stuck. It was not opening. And wouldn't yield. Yield means open. The door was not opening of the uh, attic. Father's room. Uh, frantic pulls only added to general banging and confusion. Frantic uh, pulls means again and again she was just trying to pull the door and she was banging the door very loudly and it only created confusion in the house nothing else it was useless thing and now who woke up finally the two last two who were sleeping who woke up roy and dog yes roy who was sleeping in the room across the hall on the other side he woke up and the dog who was sleeping in the hall what was his name what was his name the dog who was a bull terrier he was of the breed of bull terrier what was his name good no one even remembers the name of the dog very good very good atten uh, attention you are giving what was the name of the dog Yes, Delisha, Zeba, Alfina, you all written your names. Tell me, what was the name of the dog? Mahin. Sirat. Conan Sakina. Sir. 
Yes, Delisha. What are you saying? Rex. Hmm? Rex. Rex. Okay. कहाँ से देखा? क्या? कहाँ से मिला? Text book में. I don't have any problem. At least uh, you made an effort and you got the name. Good. बाकी सब लोगों ने तो वो भी जिसके पास book होगी उन लोगों ने open भी नहीं की होगी. पूछ रहे बता देंगे सर कोई ना कोई बता देगा जी अल्फिना लेफ्ट ओके सो रॉय एंड रेक्स वोक अप फाइनली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस शाउटिंग एंड द बैंगिंग एंड देवर देवर लास्ट टू वेक अप सो देवर नॉट एट ऑल अवेयर व्हाट वाज गोइंग ऑन सो दे वेंट नियर द डोर एंड नियर द एटिक डोर एंड यस दलीशा what so nothing sir nahi video call karna hai conference mein aaye wo bhul se on ho gaya tha nahi video call karna hai conference mein so roy roy was the last one to wake up and also the dog rex so roy was asking questions he was not at all aware why this why the mother is banging so loudly at the door so he was asking questions and the dog was barking of course the dog will bark because of this banging and shouting the dog was also nervous so he he started barking continue now uh, we'll read oh the can i yes delishari father father sabhi and sound is sleeper of all had by this time been awakened by the battering on the attic door he decided that the house was on fire i am coming i am coming he wailed in a slow sleepy voice it took him a many minutes to regain full con- consciousness my mother still believing he was caught under the bed detected in his i am coming the moon full resign note of one who is preparing to meet his maker is dying she sh- she shouted okay so father was still sleeping he has still not woken up means father was all right he was the soundest sleeper he was still sleeping and now all the people all other people in the house they had woken up and they had reached the attic and now father was also awake, uh, awake father also woke up with this banging and shouting sound by the battering on the attic door so the mother was uh, banging the door very badly and so the Okay, I'm sorry. I think I had uh, in between it left. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. So now, even father woke up because of this uh, battering sound on the door. That mother who was uh, just banging the door like a mad lady, she woke up. The father means her husband, father for the narrator. So father had his own misconception. Father, को क्या लगा? That house is on fire. उसको लगा आग लगी इसलिए ये सब मुझे बाहर निकालने के लिए banging कर रहे हैं door पे. And what did he shout? The father shouted, "I am coming! I am coming!" He he thought that house was on fire, so he said, "I am coming out. Wait, wait." He wailed. Means he he started like uh, he started crying actually, with that uh, wailing sound. Like how when you are sad you wail. So loud cry that is called wailing. and he was still sleepy abhi to usne aankh kholi thi sirf he was not even fully awake and he said uh, i am coming because that the uh, noise of that banging because of that it took him many minutes to regain full consciousness so as soon as you open your eyes you will not be fully conscious when you open your eyes it will take a few seconds a few minutes to be fully conscious to come back to your senses so he was even not fully conscious yet he has just opened his eyes 
and my mother still believing he was caught under the bed detected any i am coming the resigned note of one who is preparing to meet his maker means when father shouted when father said this words i am coming i am coming he was he wanted to say that he is coming out of the room mother ko kya laga that he is giving the resigned note matlab wo uh, like he he is dying and he is talking to uh, the god to his maker means the god who has made us so mother thought that father is telling this words to god that i am coming i am coming usko aisa laga ki wo mar raha hai andar that is why he is shouting i am coming like he is telling the god ki main aa raha hu aapke paas like that so mother had that misconception but father was father actually meant that he, he was coming out and mother thought that he is dying so again she shout, uh, shouted he is dying and father was shouting i am coming did you understand this confusion yes so these are mad people like you no they are not mad no like conan yeah thank kuch nahi ha koi baat nahi bolne se kuch ho nahi chahta hmm hum to aise hi hai pehle se ho bolne se thodi hoga to fir continue reading ha what delisha read this paragraph next from where mm, yeah i am all right bricks yell to rejo her i am all right he still believed that it was his own closeness to death that was worrying mother i found at last the light switch in my room unlocked the door and bricks and i joined the others at the attic door the dog who never did like bricks jumped from him assuming that he was the culprit in whatever was going on and roy had to throw rex and hold him we could hear father crawling out of bed upstairs roy pulled the attic door open with a mighty jerk and father came down the stairs sleepy and irritable but safe and sound my mother began to weep when she saw him rex began to howl what in the name of god is going on here asked father so then what happened uh, when when mother said he is dying he is dying to so bricks bell ko wapas laga that mother is shouting for her but mother was actually shouting for father that he is dying so bricks bell said i am all right i am all right to reassure what is this reassure reassure nahi delisha yes reassure reassure what is it what is the meaning reassure what is it reassure means fir se wo Why are you quiet? Reassure. Reassure. Uh, speak it. Speak up properly. Reassure. 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 Hmm. Reassure. Why are you not speaking properly? Le. <laughs> okay. So, Briggs thought mother is worried about him. लेकिन उसके लिए कुछ नहीं था ये so he shouted i am all right i am all right so he thought that uh, he should tell the mother that he was all right and mother should not shout i am all right again he shouted he still believed that it was his own closeness to that that was worrying mother so bricks bell thought that 
because i am about to die and so mother is worried for me but mother was just worried for uh, father i found at last the switch in my room and unlocked the door and bricks and i joined the others at the attic door so finally author usne kya kiya switch on ki uh, till now it was dark darkness right midnight so finally the author switched on the light switch and both of them means author and bricks they were sleeping together in one room so both of them they went upstairs where mother was banging the door of the attic they also went upstairs to see what is wrong and the dog the dog already hated bricks bell jo rex tha dog usko pehle se bricks bell pasand nahi tha because he was not a family member actually he was the cousin who had come to stay with them so do, the dog rex already disliked bricks he he did not like him from first only he what did he do he thought dog dog uh, thought that uh, all these people are worried that uh, the people in the house they are worried and shouting because of this bricks because bricks bell has done something wrong so he jumped for him and here it is jumped for him not from delisha are you there delisha hello yes yes jumped for him kya hai jumped for him for him yeah not from him okay delisha understood गुड सो दैट डॉग रेक्स आ गया वो डॉग हो गया सो द डॉग जंप्ड फॉर हिम अज्यूमिंग दैट ही वाज द कल्प्रेट इन व्हाट एवर वाज गोइंग ऑन कल्प्रेट पर्सन रिस्पांसिबल फॉर केयर्स वेयर इट इज रिटन मींस द पर्सन हु हैज डन समथिंग रॉन्ग इज कल्प्रेट अकॉर्डिंग टू रेक्स दैट डॉग ब्रिक्स बेल हैज डन समथिंग रॉन्ग एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट ब्रिक्स बेल दीस पीपल वर नर्वस एंड दे वर अफ्रेड सो रेक्स ही जंप्ड फॉर हिम उसने जंप किया उस पे बट रॉय रॉय हैड टू थ्रो rex away and hold him roy he controlled his dog rex otherwise he would bite him otherwise he would bite bricks bell roy ne fir control kar liya rex ko we could hear father crawling out of the bed upstairs uh, so father finally he woke up he was crawling out of the bed means he woke up he, he just came out of the bed crawling like walking on four legs he was crawling out of bed upstairs roy pulled the attic door open with a mighty jerk if you have might have seen this in a cid me dekha hoga how the door breaks with the uh, force the push so roy opened the door with a jerk takka deke usne door open kar diya which door the room attic room he opened the door because they were afraid that father was dead <laughs> and when the roy when when sorry, when roy opened the door father came out father came out of the room he came downstairs and he was all right but he was sleepy he was not yet uh, awake he was sleepy and irritable but he was safe and sound means he was he was not hurt he was just irritated with all this banging and shouting and chaos in the house but he was not uh, he was not hurt at all my mother began to weep and she, when she saw him so mother started crying and when the mother saw the father he was all right then she started crying to kya chahiye tha usko ki wo mar jaye nahi khushi kya si khushi kya si lekin aise uh she wanted to take the dead body out of the room of the wreckage and now when she sees him alive coming down so she started crying behuda log hai ye so <laughs> rex began to howl rex started uh, howling rex that uh, dog he started howling when the dogs howl you know the typical sound that uh, the uh, noise of the 
dog when they feel cold or something like that howling when they are sad and uh, what in the name of god is going on here asked father so father when he came down he asked this question to all uh, the family members who were standing and waiting for him and waiting for his dad dad actually he asked them what in the name of god is going on here why are you all shouting like what what in the name of god is going on means what what is wrong with all of you why are you all uh, shouting and banging at the door what was wrong till now the situation was finally put together like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle you might you might have seen jigsaw puzzle kiya kisi ne solve puzzle puzzle we have to join that parts and you have to make one whole picture yes. Yes. something yes yes so finally the situation was under control means finally the confusion was over the confusion was sorted out because father came down and all the family members were standing in the hall now together means no one was hurt so the finally the whole confusion was sorted out like a gigantic means very big very large jigsaw puzzle when you solve how much time it takes same way after a long time the puzzle the confusion was sorted out father caught a cold from prowling around in his bare feet only one thing had gone wrong father ko thandi lag gayi usko thand chad gayi prowling around in his bare feet he was he was bare feet without wearing his slippers or shoes prowling prowling means moving around so you should not prowl around bare feet especially in winter so father caught a cold but there were no other bad results means everyone was safe no other bad results i am glad said mother who always looked on the bright side of the things that your grandfather wasn't here so mother said at last that i am glad i am happy and here the writer the author says that mother always had the habit of looking on the bright side means mother always looked at the positive side of the things really was she a positive thinker who thought about her husband's death no no and she also said i am glad that your grandfather wasn't here but what she said at last is very difficult to understand what is the meaning of this i am glad that your grandfather wasn't here what what do you think what what can that line mean मुझे खुशी हुई कि तुम्हारे दादा यहां नहीं थे मींस योर ग्रैंड फादर वाज नॉट हियर लाइक ट्रांसलेशन आई डोंट वांट आई वांट द रीजन व्हाई डिड यू से दैट अह बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रीजन मदर शाउटेड अदरवाइज ही वुड स्कोल्ड हर यस अदरवाइज ग्रैंड फादर वुड स्कोल्ड द मदर नो हम्म यस यस कौन है तो हाँ ही बोले राइट कौन है डू यू हैव योर ओन रीजन व्हाट व्हाट व्हाई डिड व्हाई वाज मदर ग्लैड दैट ग्रैंडफादर वाज नॉट देयर व्हेन ऑल दिस हैपेंड दैट इज नॉट गिवन ओवर हियर वी जस्ट हैव टू अज्यूम even i don't know because the lesson ends over here we can assume that if grandfather would be there then he would uh, he would get more disturbed because of his age un logo ne uske sath aisa kiya hota without any reason then he would uh, be disturbed but father was sleeping in that attic instead of grandfather that day so it was good grandfather was not sleeping in that room that day so otherwise he would have left otherwise he would also become the victim of this mad family yes so five yeah. minutes left ye to sakina ka dialogue hai merchant ka wo kuch nahi bol rahe the maine bol rahe bol diya maine bol diya 
No problem. Yes, sir. Yes, Sakina. Yes, Delisha. What did you read? That word, reassure. Now, did you get that word? Yes. Delisha, sir, will not leave you today. Reassure. What is it? Reassure. <laughs> reassure. Reassure. Whole day you have to just uh, revise this word, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Tell me the first answer. The narrator's mother did not want father to sleep in that in the attic bed because because uh, she thought that her uh, that uh, father will fell down from the no bed. because the old wooden bed was wobbly yeah. and if it fell. The heavy headboard would uh, yeah, crash him down on father's head and kill him. Wow! I should. I will. Uh, I will not ask you how did you get that because I came to know. It na perfect answer to you sakte hai na. Yes. Fair book me sir. <laughs> no problem. No fair book. But, textbook me se. Ah, uh, textbook me se. Ah, uh, textbook me likho raha tha. सबको लास्ट ईयर डैश वुड यूजुअली स्लीप इन द अटिक बेड ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड फादर ब्रिक्स बेल बिलीव दैट ही माइट डाइ ऑफ सफोकेशन वाइल स्लीपिंग इफ इफ ही वर नॉट अवेकन एवरी आर आर ड्यूरिंग द नाइट Not awakened. Harman would sometimes sing in the sleep, in his sleep. And... Yes. The narrator's room was next to his mother's Bad and her mother's room. Mother's room. Mother his mother's and her mother's room. Dash woke up last in the house. Father. 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 Hmm. Okay. Question answer will not discuss because the notes I will uh, discuss with all of you in the next lecture. So, okay. Uh, Abhi bhi one minute hai. One minute is left. Hmm. Hmm. Kal birthday pe kya kya apne? Nothing. Kal apka birthday tha na, apne kya kya? Nothing at all. Hmm. Kuch bhi nahi. होगा कुछ प्रॉब्लम सर ने तो चॉकलेट भी नहीं दी हाँ सर चॉकलेट भी नहीं दी सर तो देने वाले हैं नहीं